boy did I find something weird at a local rural king. And before you see this, uh, no, you are not hallucinating. This is a Choco Fizz chocolate soda from the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. And this is, this is like something straight out of fucking Willy Wonka. <laughs> like, and it, it's, it's great. You know, I'm kind of cheating. I already had one of these. It's caffeine free. But if you check out the calories, like 159, uh, I think there's a shitload of sugar. Let's see. 43 grams of added sugars. So, of course, uh, if you're diabetic or trying to stay healthy, then obviously stay away from these for obvious reasons. But I'm not, I mean, I'm not the most intelligent person, but these are good. And, uh,. And uh, it it smells like Tootsie Rolls. Is is like it's exactly what it smells like. And if I have to describe the flavor, it's well, you guessed it, liquid Tootsie Rolls. So I don't know how a company can get away with that, because I think, or you know, in my limited scope of legal uh, knowledge that. Well, I guess you can't really copyright flavor, could you? Maybe you can, but... Yeah, it, it, Choco Fizz chocolate soda. If you want a liquefied Tootsie Roll flavor in a soda, then you probably like this. I, I mean, not a lot of people. I mean, I'm like an obscure freaking weirdo who likes obscure freaking weird shit when it comes to drinks, foods... So, this is right up my alley, but some of you are probably gagging at the idea of a freaking liquid Tootsie Roll. But, you know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's it's a little dry, um, kind of. It's, uh, weirdly enough, reminds me of, like, a martini, kind of. If you've ever drank in those, where it's, it's, it's a drink, but it leaves you kind of, uh, your mouth a little bit dry. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but... But yeah, if you're a fan of uh, Tootsie Rolls for back in the times when you actually went to, um, you know, did Halloween trick-or-treating shit, then this is definitely your kind of drink. Of course, it's made with real or pure cane sugar, so that's pretty tasty. So it's just a unique-ass uh, flavor. For a soda, and like I said, I saw this at a Rural King, and I was like, you know what, that's just so fucking weird, that's like right up my alley. Uh, so, there'll probably be a form, few more of these, if this kind of content is interesting. I don't know, I just decided to do this because I like to share weird things that I come across, or weird things I sample, and this is one of them. Choco Fizz, which is like something straight out of, like, again, like fucking Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. But, you know what? For obscure flavor, that's for like a few, select few weirdos. Um, I dig it. I'm one of those weirdos, but other people, uh, again, probably would hate this because, again, you know, Tootsie Rolls it isn't everyone's flavor of candy. But if they did one of these in like, what were those, um, those corn ones with the orange, white, and like yellow, that would be interesting. That would be an interesting form of candy. So, of course, I can't think of it now. <laughs> corn. It's candy corn. Candy corn, you dipshit. Hey, guys. Editing Kaiser. Yeah, I, for, for whatever reason, my, like, my brain, like, literally shit its pants there. I, I, I apologize ahead of times, but, yeah, I'm still drinking pretty damn, still pretty damn good. Corn, um... But yeah, it's, it's definitely the, the most unique flavor I've ever sampled at the soda. So, before I ramble any more about pointless shit, <laughs> leave a like, leave a dislike, comment below. And if you can find these, go ahead and try them, because it's a unique experience. Um, that is, if you're not uh, diabetic, or if you're one of these people who don't give a shit about their health. I mean, 4-3 grams of sugar is actually probably isn't too bad. 
but it's probably the pure cane sugar that's bad. There's probably like uh, high fructose corn syrup in the shit. There's actually, I'm not seeing on the list of things, so uh, we're good there. But however, if you're a Mormon, it's caffeine free, so there you go. It's kosher if you're a Mormon, uh, which is probably going to be none of you. Uh, <laughs> But hey, there's some more facts about this random weird Willy Wonka flavor of a soda. See you next time.